lovely nursery friends, it's Mrs Remicky here again. Right, today we're going to have a go at making masks. I'm going to have a go at making a pig mask, seeing as we've been doing the Three Little Pigs. So I've been around the nursery and there's lots of resources around our nursery. So I've got a box of resources, but you try and do a mask with the things around that you can find at home. So, for my face, I found a plate. So what I'm going to do is I need a pen or a pencil. And I'm going to, I've got a pink piece of card here. Again, you might not have pink, you can use any colour you want. I'm going to draw around the plate first for the shape of my face. And I hold the plate onto the card and draw all the way around the plate. I'm going to lift it off. Now I have to cut it out. So I'm going to use my scissors very carefully. Whilst I'm cutting out, I'm going to make sure I'm looking down all the time at the shape I'm cutting out. And the shape, I wonder if you know what shape I'm cutting out? It's a circle, you're right. I go all the way around the circle. Like that, very carefully. And that's for the shape of my pig's face. Move that out of the way. So I've used pink card. You could use maybe the back of a cereal box. So it's a nice if it's a bit harder because it's card, but if you haven't, you can do it in paper. It's up to you. So now I'm going to do the eyes of the pig. So what I need to make sure is because it's for me to make sure that the space between the eyes is enough. So what I'm going to do is then if I get my pencil. I'm going to put it up against my face, feel where my eyes are, then just do a little mark first, just to make sure that there's enough space. And then I'm going to draw the shape of the pig's eyes. Now, this shape, I think I'm going to kind of do like an oval shape for the eyes and make it big enough to make sure that when I'm looking through, I can see. So again, I'm going to draw kind of round like that. Right, so of course I can't see out of them yet. I've got to cut them out now. This is a bit tricky, but I'll show you the trick. So if you get your card or your paper, if you bend it like that in the middle of the eye and make a snip with your scissors like that, you can see the little hole. And then you can put your scissors back through carefully again, use them carefully. Go to the edge of your eye shape and then just cut all the way around. The eyes. We'll do this one first. There's one, and again with the second one, bend it in half like that. Your card or paper, make a snip into the middle, then place your scissors back through, and then cut around the shape of the eye that you've drawn. Oh. And then just put it up against your face to see if you can see through. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. Next, I need some pig ears. Some ears. Now, let me think of the shape I could use for a pig ear. Hmm. I know. I could use a triangle shape. So, I'm going to get my pink card again. And I can see there's a corner here. So, I'm just going to cut this corner out, I think. Like, go across to one side to the other. Hopefully, it looks like shape of a triangle and that could be my ear for my pig so I need another one so I'm going to place it back onto the card again again you can draw around it if you want to because you've already got the shape of a triangle like that take it off and then cut it out like that Move that out of the way so I've got two pig ears they're not going to stay on like that, so I need some glue. So I'm going to stick those on with my glue. Again, if you haven't got glue, you could use sellotape. It doesn't have to be glue. I'm going to stick one that side, like that. And one the other side. Make sure I've got enough glue so it doesn't fall off. 
like that. They're my pig ears. Good. They look great. Now, next I'm going to do the pig nose. Now, ours is a nose, but the pig's is called a snout. So, again, you can draw it if you want to. You can draw the snout or the nose. You could use, I've got a paper cup. I could maybe snip off the end of the paper cup. But I found quite a nice lid. It's from the washing up liquid or washing powder or something. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use that in the middle here. So I need quite a bit of glue. Make sure it sticks for the snout. And hold it on for a few seconds and hopefully it will stick. Press it down hard. Make sure it sticks. Like that. And there's the snout. Good. Now, he needs a mouth. I think I'm going to use a nice pink smiley mouth. My pig's going to be smiling. So I'm going to draw a nice big smiley mouth like that. And I might even colour a little bit of the ears in as well. You can do whatever you want. So this is my mask. Now once I've done that, there's just one more thing I need to do. Because it won't stay on like that unless I hold it. I need to make a hole each side and put some string or elastic around it. So this part, I'm going to use a pencil to make the hole because it only needs to be a little small hole. Now you might need a grown-up to help you because you've got to press it all the way through to the other side of the card or the paper and the card's quite tricky. There's one hole. And I'm going to make the other one the other side and press it through. So I've got two holes. And I'm going to use string for mine. So again, I'm not sure how much. Do you know what? I need to measure around the back of my head. Oh, first of all, to see how much string I need. So I'll put it around my head just to, just to check. Make it a little bit longer than my ears. So probably to my cheeks because I have to tie it. And again, using my scissors carefully, I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to thread it through one hole first. I need my pencil to press it through like that and tie it. Again, you might need a grown up or maybe a big sister or brother to help you like that. And then put it up on my face, put it around the other side just to make sure it's got to go through that hole as well and then fit across my face. Hopefully I've done it long enough. Oh, my snout's fallen off. I need to make sure it sticks a little bit longer. Put it through the other side. Push it through. And tie it. Again, you might need a little bit of help because it is some of this is a little bit tricky. But again, you don't have to use string. You could use wool or elastic, anything you can find around home. Now my snap might fall off because the glue's not quite stuck yet, but I'm going to put it on so you can see. And there is my pig mask. 